Relax your back, relax, relax. Chin to your chest, good. So I'm filling her iliac crest here, and this is tilt the ears line. This should coincide with L3 to L4, so I'm actually gonna use my nail and just put a little indention in there. Perfect. Okay, I have her set up there. I'm gonna get my little right here. Just FYI, she's starting with a little tacky. Little tacky, like, what, what would she be? 120, 130. 140. So the, the, the awesome nurse here is telling me that because when we inject the, uh, the test dose, we need to keep that in mind that she's already kind of tacky, so we don't get too concerned if she continues to be tacky once we give the, uh, the test dose. So what I'm doing here, I'm getting my beta dime ready and I'm going to clean her back up. And if you get a few share from me, can you push my, my uh, mask up on oh, my nose? <laughs> Okay, let's clean her off here. So let's go three uh, three swabs here with Betadine. I like chlorhexidine, but if it doesn't come in the kit or if it's not around, I'll just use Betadine, which works just as fine. We use it in the OR all the time. So three swabs here, and I'll just get rid of this stuff here. I have my little trash right there in my basket. This is gonna be my plastic drape that will go on her back. I'll open it up away from me just like so, okay? And I try to do a bullseye with her right there, and you just place this and hope it sticks, which it looks like it did nicely, like, good. So that's, that's where I'll be working, so I like to get rid of things that I won't use, and actually, can you open that up? I forgot to open it up, and you might have to come around and just drop it on the tray here. I forgot to do that. Because that's going to be my plastic loss of, loss of resistance syringe. <laughs> because this kit, for some odd reason, comes with the glass. Yeah, you can just drop it on right there. There we go. There you go. Perfect. Enjoy. Yep. So this is my plastic loss of resistance syringe, which I love. This is a glass loss of resistance syringe. They're okay. They're just not my favorite. So. I'm going to go ahead and numb her skin up, and while that betadine is working on her skin, it gives it a chance to dry. So I'm going to drop some 1% lidocaine just to anesthetize the skin. Alrighty. How are you feeling? You doing okay? Yes. Yes. She's, She's very nervous. Yeah. Right. We're doing great. Still smiling. <laughs> All right, and I'll use my 25 gauge here. Okay. Next thing I'll do, I'll grab this here, and all I want to do is just try out this beta time. Good. Okay. Chin to your chest and lean forward for me. Perfect. A lot of times when you tell them to lean forward, they just get into that, that position without really having to elaborate. So I'm going to do some local anesthesia here right on my, on my nail bite. Tiny little poke here. This is very sudden, very end. Little poke, good. A little burn is normal, okay? This is just my skin bill here. And then I actually use this to kind of find a trajectory. I like, yeah, a little bit of pressure is normal. So I like that trajectory there. Beautiful. And I'll just continue with the numbing and pluck. So she's going to be numb now. She shouldn't feel much. She will feel some pressure, but shouldn't feel much after that. And a little trick here you can do, you can use one of these to bring your mask up. Get rid of it. Okay. Here's my Tui, 17 gauge Tui, okay, with the stylet. I'll put that right there. Okay, I'll even bring over my, my catheter, put that right there. While that numbing medicine is working, I'm going to drop um, my test dose, which it looks like this one did have, so we'll have to draw that up, no worries. So let me put some saline in here. There we go. And this is the needle that's going to, um, it's a filter needle here. So put some saline into my loss of resistance syringe. I like to use saline, I don't really like to use air. Okay. We'll put the leftover lidocaine in here, and we can use this as, as the start of the test dose, but we'll have to use that to make sure we're not in the vessel. It's gonna be one of the last one. Okay, leave that there. So, she's looking good. Chin to your chest, lean forward for me. Good, bring this forward just a bit. 
wonderful. Actually, my mark here where I did the local anesthesia. You can see a little bit of blood there. She should be well anesthetized in that area. So I'll engage my tummy. And what I'm going to have you do is tell her to kind of hunch her back out just a little bit. For me, she's kind of like this. Other way. You know, <clears throat> think of a, I want you to think of a cat when they get scared, how their back curls. Yes. But relax. Yes. Just like that. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and engage my tummy here. Okay. I'm going to go until I kind of feel it engaging into. Look at me, it's a little loose there. I like it to be a little bit tighter engaged. And as I hit there, I'm hitting off, so I'm actually gonna redirect just a little bit. That feels a lot better. So I'm just working the space here because I keep hitting bone. It could be her positioning, it could be her anatomy. I seem to be midline, but sometimes you just gotta work it. Now I feel that, now I feel like I'm in flavum. I feel the crunch, so I'm gonna go slow. And you can almost hear the crunch. If the video was close enough, you would hear crunch, crunch, crunch. And it looks like if you want to watch this, this is gonna be my loss. I felt it, it takes, it takes the saline so easily, so we're in. Okay, I'm gonna count eight, seven, six, five. So I'm at five at the at the skin with the uh, two eight. Okay, so I'll leave it at about nine. I like to leave it at four centimeters inside the uh, epidural space. So let me thread this, and I'll usually just thread all the way to twenty. Twenty-five. The four lines. We're almost done here, I promise. And then I'll just bring it out. That's usually enough real estate to let me uh, finish off here. So I'll get rid of this. Good. And then we'll come back. That's 15. That's 12. 10. 9. Perfect. Okay, so what I'll do next is connect it. Okay. And then I'll put some lidocaine in it to make sure we're not spinal. And then I'll do some, ep uh, some epi once we finish up here to make sure we're not vascular. But as I Aspirate. Negative aspiration ready for a test dose? Yeah. All right, test dose coming. So I'm gonna give the leftover lidocaine and some saline just to kind of get her started. It was a good loss of resistance. I didn't see CSF. I did not see any of uh, okay. So it should be a negative test dose, but we're gonna test anyway. She's starting at 127. 127 heart rate, okay. That's pretty good. So at this point, we're done with that. Bring this up, bring this over. That was a little bit more difficult than I would have anticipated. A lot of bone, but nonetheless, we got it done. So this, I'll actually leave like this for a sec. <coughs> this guy's gonna go right there, okay. There, got my teggy, okay. Bring this up, like I don't go here. Bring that over. Just securing it down here. Take it in, take it in, take it in. Boom, boom, boom. Now I'll put some tape and we're done. 